Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Vanderpump Rules alums Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright declared they've isolated in the latest episode of their digital recording, notwithstanding their impending side project series The Valley, debuting on Bravo soon. Jax, who showed up on Vanderpump Rules from its presentation until season 8, and Brittany have been a significant piece of the series. In any case, Jax and Brittany were given up from the Bravo show after charges of racially uncaring conduct surfaced in the press. The couple put in a couple of years out of the spotlight, inviting their child, Cruz Michael Cauchy, in 2021 preceding sharing they'd be continuing on toward another venture in mid-2024. In episode of the couple's webcast, when reality hits, Brittany shared that she and Jax have isolated. Brittany presented a clarification to fans about what's going on in their marriage yet remained quiet about the subtleties. A significant number of you all have been getting some information about Jax and I and our relationship. Marriages overall are extremely hard and I've had an especially unpleasant year this previous year, Brittany shared. Jax and I are taking separation and I pursued the choice to move into one more home to take some space for my emotional wellness. While Brittany kept the subtleties unclear in regards to the thinking behind their division, she shared that she's requiring one day at a time. I don't have the foggiest idea what's in store, yet the present moment my emphasis is on being the best mother to cruise. With the couple looking forward to the debut of their Psy Project series, The Valley, the planning of their partition could appear to be problematic. Jax and Brittany initially met in 2015, and she immediately took the action from Kentucky to Los Angeles to be with the Vanderpump Rules star. Their relationship wasn't without show, and only two years in, the pair split up because of Jax's unfaithfulness. After some healthy separation, the couple accommodated and found themselves more serious than any time in recent memory. They were participated in June 2018, and got hitched in a palace in Brittany's home territory of Kentucky in June 2019. Several vocations slowed down in 2020 when they were terminated after Vanderpump Rules Season 8. Yet their lives changed altogether the next year when they invited their child, Cruz. Jax and Brittany have had to deal with much together. However, it's conceivable their relationship wasn't solid. As Vanderpump Rules Season 11 proceeds and will eventually assist with introducing the debut of The Valley Season 1, Jax and Brittany are managing a few significant changes in their lives in front of a fresh out-of-the-box new section. However, the planning of their split could appear to be excessively incidental not to be important for the press for the impending series. A break has been coming for Jax and Brittany consistently. Pushing ahead, they need to focus on their child and keep on keeping him out of the show of the Jack Vanderpump Taylor Rules has stood up after spouse Brittany Cartwright dumped the stunner news that she's moving out of their common home. We're together. We're residing in our home at the present time, Taylor, 44, told Page Six on Thursday, February 29, preceding guaranteeing that while Cartwright, 35, was in a house for some time, she's currently back home. Taylor added that the pair are attempting to sort out the subsequent stages of their partition. It is still new and new to take note of that the new powerful. It's not underhanded or frightfulness, he proceeded. It's only two individuals that you presently are hitting a 10-year point in their marriage. We're simply parting ways and attempting to reevaluate, you know, our circumstance. We have a youngster included, and we just want to give a valiant effort for our child. Taylor's assertion comes soon after Cartwright partook in the last snapshots of their When Reality Hits web recording prior on Thursday. So many of you folks have been getting some information about Jax and I and our relationship. I simply think it is critical to be genuine and fair with you folks since we have shared such a great deal our existence with you all, Cartwright said, affirming that she and Taylor have encountered an especially harsh year in their marriage. I don't believe it should appear as though I'm lying or any such thing, so I think I really should say this. She added, Jax and I are taking separation, 
and I pursued the choice to move into one more home to take some space for my emotional well-being. I will not dive into an excessive number of subtleties right now since this is still truly difficult to discuss. Recently, the previous Vanderpump Rules stars implied requiring space in their marriage after fans scrutinized the situation with their relationship. Taylor was in Montreal, Canada, recently prior to making a trip to his local Detriat. Cartwright expressed she had found out about his excursion by means of online entertainment. I feel that we should address a few tales, only a bit of spot. I won't go too unforgiving with this since, you know, certain individuals in all actuality do have the right to have their protection. In any case, I will say, marriage is hard and individuals go through promising and less promising times constantly, and it's totally common, Cartwright said during the February 22 episode of the webcast. Once in a while individuals could require their space, and, in some cases, they will not. Taylor offered no understanding on the circumstance. Cartwright went on by alluding to obstacles after they recorded the impending Bravo series, The Valley, months prior. The Valley is set to debut through Bravo on Tuesday, Walk 19. I simply need to make one thing understood, and that will be that my life isn't an exposure stunt for anything, Cartwright expressed taking note of that there have been such countless changes since cameras went off. I simply need to make that extremely understood. No exposure stunts here. Taylor and Cartwright have been hitched for almost five years, securing the bunch in a June 2019 wedding that broadcasted during Season 8 of Vanderpump Rules. The couple share one child, Cruz, too. Taylor was a unique VPR cast part, making his presentation when the show debuted in 2013. Cartwright joined the show during season four of every 2015. The two of them withdrew the series in December 2020. The most recent eight years on Vanderpump Rules have been probably the most difficult, fulfilling, and satisfying long periods of my life. Taylor reported by means of Instagram at that point. Albeit this is hard to share, Brittany and I won't be returning for one more time of Vanderpump Rules. We are eager to set aside some margin to zero in on our developing family and offer and with Rachel you our Levis new undertaking. have it more terrible than Tom Sandoval in the aftermath of their swindling outrage. Lala Kent generally likes to assume so. Vanderpump Rules fans were profoundly affected when it came out that Tom went behind Ariana Maddox's back with Rachel. In light of the news, Tom and Rachel got a firestorm of disdain that continues right up to the present day. While we don't be aware without a doubt, it's not hard to assume Rachel decided to leave the show, to some degree, because of the backfire. In the meantime, Tom is by all accounts in his recovery circular segment in season 11. Obviously, Rachel is doing oak in alternate ways, making some degree of progress with her digital recording. Be that as it may, regardless of continuing on as of now, she needed to look into an emotional wellness center in the intensity of the embarrassment. Things being what they are, who had it more regrettable. On the February 28 episode of her digital broadcast, Law looked at the backfire that Tom and Rachel got. Ladies generally take the brunt of this sh asterisk, she said, like Sandoval. Indeed, he's been getting hammered. However, not even close to Rekel. Note that Lala is as yet referring to her as Rekel. Lala referred to a portion of the maltreatment Rachel had persevered, for instance, when Ariana told Rachel, the asterisk key yourself with a cheddar grater. Similarly as well, Lala referred to the time she referred to her as a asterisk king numbnuts and the different examples Rachel had been classified a prostitute. Lala proceeded, similar to it's extreme for a chick. Her co have brought up that in any event, when men were named miscreants, it's frequently followed with folks will be folks. Lala concurs, saying, individuals would discount male cheating as no biggie. Ladies then again would be named as prostitutes with an advance notice to avoid her. They further examine how men are given a pass since they think with their penises, to which Lala said, indeed, then I think with my vagina. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.